Hello everyone and welcome to this spectacular race in spectacular Budapest. And we're excited as we prepare to be given the finger. Ninth out of eleven on the grid. In a red bull, which is obviously the fastest car on the circuit, but not in a three lap race because all cars have equal ability. As we go out onto the track. <laughs> Here we are, lined up on the grid, ready to go, 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 in Budapest. And we're away in Budapest, off the line here, I've got a McLaren behind me and a Ferrari ahead of me and I'm in a Red Bull, so we've got a lot of big cars and we've got a Mercedes behind me as well, trying to cut them off as we go down into Turn 1 here, breaking hard for Turn 1, McLaren up my inside, just about avoid him, spinning Virgin. And well, I've gone into the side of the Ferrari there, and the Virgin's gone sideways again now, and the spinning out Toro Rosso, I've gone, I've got the Ferrari coming round my outside, and I've got the Lotus piling down my inside, and it's, it's actually got down there, but then it collided with the spinning out McLaren. So there was a few spinners there, there was spinning Toro Rosso, and a few other spinning cars into that first corner, which is uh, lovely. Now we've got a, another McLaren and another car ahead of me here, so I'm looking to take these now through this section here. Or on the start finish straight if I can. Cut that corner slightly. Just coming through here now. Nicely trying to bide my time. They're all over the grass, debris going everywhere. And they're broken for that corner and he's taken them. That's fantastic. That was a fantastic flawless move. And now I'm hunting down a, a Sauber. And then we've got P1 ahead of the Sauber, so we're looking we're looking to win the race. We're looking to uh, to to take this race as the Sauber goes wide. So that's the big question. Can I take the Sauber and then catch up with P1 and then take the win? Or is this Sauber gonna cause more problems? I'm not gonna try and make any move here unless he goes wide, which he has done just about. He stayed in front of me there just about after going wide. I just need to hope he goes wide a bit more there. There was no contact there. We got very close, very tight, a bit like NASCAR, very close, but no contact as we come through this section here. Not quite sure what it's called, but I know it's the end of section sector one as I try and go around the outside, but that was always a hope hopeful move. Never really gonna cause too many problems trying to go around the outside into a flat out corner. So coming into the chicane, trying not to cut it like I did last time, and that was great. And now I'm going around the outside of him there, but that's not going to work. I'm getting stuck behind him. He's helling me up, and I think first he's getting too far away. If I don't overtake this guy soon, he's going to have me, and that's a major, major problem. I need to take him soon, and I need to move on. And I, this is a good opportunity now. He stayed tight, and I've stayed wide. I've got the race in line, and he tried to cut inside, but there's a bit of contact there, and that's cost me, yeah, and it's 5 XP. That contact there, I probably would have got the undercut on him if that contact wasn't there, but just, it's about half an inch. Not enough room as he goes wide again in this final corner. I've got quite a few cars lined up behind me, I think there's about two corners between uh, the first six cars. As I go flying around his inside and I've surely got him now, yes, we're hanging out around down the inside bend. Bit of contact there, but he manages to hold the position again. Somehow he's managed to hold that together, as I looked almost certain to have the position as we were coming down the pit straight. I was too busy talking about the people behind me, not busy enough talking about the people, as he breaks on me there, and I've got him. I've got him there, you saw it, he tried to break on me there. Yeah, he broke on me and tried to get me a penalty, but it hasn't worked out, and I've actually taken him now. Now I've just got to cover my lines, cover my... Cover my, cover my sectors, hit the apexes, and he shouldn't have any chance of catching me. This is big, uh, half a couple of cars behind me, about six cars. So that should be the point safe. Yeah, I'm gaining time, and I think I'm uh, fairly alright as we come to the final three corners on the track. And, well, first is obviously unreachable, but uh, I knew that going into going into lap three, because I still hadn't overtaken the Sauber, who, after a good race, to be fair, was fairly newbie and well should have done better really that was poor from him he should have instead of trying to catch me out should have tried to hold the position 
So, that's the end of that race. That was a thrilling race on Budapest. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please follow me on Twitter, at Into the Barrier. Goodbye.